Hi everybody, today is day 23, 23 of since I've had my vitrectomy on my right eye. And I am so glad that you are joining me today. First off, there are two things, two things I'm gonna talk about. First of all, is a report on how I feel and any changes that are happening right now. And number two is a healing project I would like to do to focus my energy on instead of doing tasks that really uh, go against the whole process of me um, taking the time to heal. Okay, so first of all, um, I can tell you that it's definitely a change happening. Um, I'm starting to see more above the bubble that I'm seeing in my right eye right now. Yes, it's, I'm still doing this, the whole story about the waves and everything in a little bubble. I see it, but more is being revealed. It's almost like a curtain coming down, but from the opposite, you know, dropping down. And I'm able to see a little bit above um, uh, what um, is around me, which is great news. And I'm really happy to hear that. So Although that is happening, I'm also recognizing that there are some floaters there. And I remember a nurse assistant asked me if I could see any floaters. And I couldn't really see because the bubble was in a way. But I'm starting to see a few floaters. And I will bring that to the attention of my specialist when I go back in a week. And I tell you, it, I, I really am looking forward to getting to the finish line, so to speak. So thank you for joining me and for all of your support during this time. It really helps me get through each day as I am at home um, healing from having a hole in my macula. Now on to uh, an extension of the healing process. I believe that art heals and I propose that you guys help me decide, guys and gals help me decide what kind of healing project I would do. And so I had two choices. One was a painting and two was a soundscape. Being an editor, I really like putting sounds together. So I thought I would do something with my Gouda drum, which is a steel tongue drum, um, and add something, maybe even some words or, or things like that. But it's really up to you. And then the other is the painting, which would be abstract, which would be inspired by words, words of healing. And this is all inspired by the need for more healing in the world due to all the unrest that's going on. And rightfully so. Um, there's just, there's a lot going on and there's a shift happening. And how could it be, how could I give, what could I do that could help um, lift up or or support others as we try to find um, a, a, a more peaceful way of working through the issues that are happening and have been happening in our lives. So if you get a chance, all you have to do is type one or type two in the comment section. I'll get it. I'm going to be deciding Sunday, no matter what, even if I have to take a bag and put one and two in the bag and pull it out and show you on the video, I would like to do that. But I want you to be a part of it. I really appreciate your support and with you being here with me. as It's as if you are sitting with me. I so appreciate it. I, I really, really do. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today on day 23. Tune in again. And as always, love, light, and a bucket full of joy. Take care.